So if you're anything like me, you probably clicked on this video because you're looking for a brand new way to build sustainable passive income online from the comfort of your own home without any fancy degree, prior experience, special talents, handouts, or Einstein level IQ. And whether that's the case or whether you're just interested in learning about new ways that people of any age are working from home in front of their computer to make crazy amounts of money online, I got you. So look, Dropshipping has taken off over the past couple years, and I get it. With all the new gurus swirling around online and social media and friends and family talking about it, it can be difficult to get your hands on the right information. It can all seem so overwhelming, and ultimately the easiest thing for you to do is to convince yourself that the business model is too competitive, saturated, or dead, and not give it the fair shot that it deserves. And that is exactly why I created this video right here, to break down an easy step-by-step -step guide into this brand new business model and take your first few steps into the online world of creating a business that is passive, sustainable, and can generate you income for years to come from the comfort of your own home. And look, I get it. Why should you listen to me over some other 21 year old kid making videos in front of his laptop at home? The financial freedom and generational wealth for myself through the skills that I've built up all starting with drop shipping. And my goal is to provide you with real, no bullshit information with the utmost transparency without trying to shove a paid video course right down your throat. So I just wanna say thank you so much for clicking on this video and congratulations for taking your first few steps into the crazy world of making money online. But most importantly, grab a pen and paper as you watch this video because at the end of this video, it'll be time for you to take some serious action and I want you to be prepared. So strap in, clear out a little workspace for yourself and go ahead and smash that like button so I can help impact more people with this real no bullshit guide to getting started with dropshipping in 2022. And just before we jump into the value of this video, I do wanna announce the weekly giveaway remember all you have to do is go ahead and smash that like button comment something insightful down below and make sure you subscribe to the channel the winner will be announced for a custom built dropshipping store built by me and my team at outright ecom in my next week's video let's get straight into this all right so first things first load up your computer go over to google and type in shopify.com or hit the link in my description if you guys want an extended free trial click on shopify and click start free trial Go ahead and type in your email and create a password. I recommend creating a brand new Gmail account as it is easier to keep all your business stuff in one place instead of cluttering it in with your personal emails. And create your store name. And honestly, this part doesn't really matter because you can always go back and change the name and purchase a new domain name later. So for now, I'm just gonna call this Nathan's First Store. Not actually my first store, but that's what we're calling it. Shopify is gonna go ahead and ask you a few questions, whether you're just starting out or if you're already selling. What you can do is just go ahead and skip this entire part as it's not super necessary in the beginning and you don't really need to answer those questions. However, you do need to put in your country and then hit enter my store. So if you made it to this part, you actually made it farther than 99% of people who say they're gonna start an online business. You now have your own dashboard and storefront with Shopify. So the homepage here is basically gonna prompt you to complete a bunch of steps in order to get your store up and running. Next thing, we have an orders tab over here, which is gonna track and manage all the orders that are gonna be coming through later. The next one, we have products where you're gonna be managing the different products and inventory that you have. The customer tab, where you're gonna control everything that's customer related in one single place. Analytics, where you're gonna see the daily view, you know, how much you're making, your average order value, conversion rates, all that important stuff. A marketing channel, we're gonna keep track of all the different ways you're marketing on your store. Discount codes, if you wanna make unique discount codes for certain people to shop. And lastly, but most importantly, the online store sales channel itself, where you're gonna be creating the website, choosing the theme, adding blog posts if that's what you want, creating other pages like a contact us and a track your order page, making the navigation menus and the footer menus, different preferences about your store. And just before we jump into actually building a store, I do wanna run you through just the most important things that you should fix up on your settings. So the first thing over here in store details, you wanna change the currency to USD. I mean, 90% of my customers, I would say, come from the United States, and if you're on the same boat, I would recommend having your currency set to USD, and just go ahead and click Save. Besides that, you can start to fill out your billing information so they can bill you eventually when you get off of the free trial. You can start to set up staff accounts if you're working on this business with somebody else. You can start to set up your bank account so that they can actually pay you when you make orders. And beyond that, there's not a whole lot that we need to do in the very beginning in the settings. So now it's time to find our first product so that we can actually start making some sales. 
Down here, you'll notice this section called apps. You just wanna come over here and click add apps. It'll take you straight to the Shopify app store if you click the link at the bottom. And this is where you wanna to be to go ahead and get an app that allows you to import a product in one click. Now, Oberlo was a big app that allowed you to do this before. I'm not even too sure it's still on the Shopify app store. No, it's not. In fact, it's been completely removed and this is the best way for beginners to get started was to use Oberlo and one click add a product from AliExpress to their store. But with Oberlo gone, we need an alternative and Deezers is actually partnered with Oberlo to kind of pick up and take over where Oberlo left off. But good news for you is that Deezers is actually a whole lot more complete and allows you to automate so many more tasks that Oberlo just didn't have the functionalities for. So the first thing you wanna do is go ahead and click on this app and then just click add app. And it's gonna give you again a 14 day free trial so you don't have to spend any money out of your pocket. Go ahead and click install app. And then it's gonna prompt you to a page where you need to create an account for yourself. Now, don't get scared away by the $499 per month enterprise plan as all we need right now is the basic free plan and just go ahead and click get started. The next thing is that we need to go ahead and link Deezers to AliExpress. So if we just click this logo right here, it's gonna take us right through to AliExpress. And ideally, you wanna already have an account set up. If you don't, it's super quick and easy to make an account on AliExpress. Just click authorize. And then you're gonna get this little support bot. And obviously what we wanna do at this point is start importing products and figuring out which products we wanna sell on our store. It's gonna take you through a really quick guide, but I don't really need to see any of this because I'm gonna show you guys exactly what to do right now. All right, so Deezus is automatically integrated with AliExpress. If you're unfamiliar with AliExpress, it's basically a wholesale platform where suppliers are listing up products, typically from China, though you can find suppliers in the US as well if you're looking for faster shipping, which I'd recommend. And it's gonna give you tons of different product recommendations of products that are currently selling well for other dropshippers. So as you can see, these are tons of great problem solving products like this back stretcher right here, or this pet dog toy that's apparently good for their teeth when they're chewing it, or this makeup pen right here. I'm gonna go ahead and select a product given what I already know about products, but if you guys are interested in a full guide on product research and how to select your first product for dropshipping, you wanna click this link somewhere around here. I'll add the full guide video up at the top. So I've decided to go with this Bluetooth sleeping headphone sport band. And basically what this allows you to do is listen to music on your way to sleep or listen to sounds that help you go to sleep. And it wraps your head really nicely and it feels soft and super seamless as almost as if it's not even there, but it also plays music out of the sides right on your ears. So seems like a great problem solving product for people who are having difficulties going to sleep. And it comes in two different color variations for about $12 USD at its wholesale price from this particular supplier, which has tons of five star reviews tons of orders and overall seems like a solid bet. So from the product right here, I'm just gonna click add to import list and then I'm just gonna click go to import list and check. And as simple as this, all I have to do is click on this button that says push to Shopify and then click okay. So as simple as this, all I have to do is click on this select box here that says push to Shopify and then click on the button. Now it's gonna ask me which stores I wanna publish it to. Since I only have one store right now, which is Nathan's first store to show you guys how I created, I'm just gonna go ahead and select that and then click also publish to online store and then finally push to Shopify. Now, if we go back over to our Shopify store and we click on products, we should be able to see that the product is right here on our storefront. It's gonna automatically go ahead and add all the different images straight from the listing on AliExpress and all the different specifications of the product as well as some of the images they used on their product page. It's a pretty solid start if you ask me and that was all done in literally 30 seconds. Now if we go back to Deezers, eventually you can come here and you can see all of your different products. You can see your open orders with your customers. You can go ahead and find other suppliers for your product to make sure you're getting the best price and the fastest shipping and the highest product quality and so much more. So Deezers is a great all-in-one tool, but anyways, before we start working on the product page, the next thing we wanna do is go over to the online store section and start customizing our storefront. Now it's gonna give you a pre-built theme. Dawn is a pretty good theme and it's completely free with Shopify. However, you can select a different one if you are interested, but I'm just gonna go ahead and customize this existing theme. 
So as you guys can see, right out of the box, it's pretty basic. We just have the product here in the store. We have a bunch of blank templates added and we have a couple different pages. One of them being catalog, which is gonna show us the product that we added to the store. And then we have a contact page already built into the theme as well, which is gonna give customers a super easy place to go ahead and file a ticket with you if they need any type of support. Before we work on the product page, I just wanna customize the homepage a bit. And if you guys want a more in-depth, full walkthrough of how I build custom-made stores, I'll leave a link somewhere around here as well. But now that we know our store is in the sleepwear niche, we can start selecting images that correspond with that. So if we click on this initial image banner over here on the left side, which is this top part highlighted in blue, then we can go over to the right side and we can start customizing it. The first thing that we need is an initial image. So if we click select image, it's gonna take us to the Shopify free image library, which is a great place to get images. Also, there's other free websites such as Pexels, or you can even find images of the product on AliExpress as well. But I'm just gonna look up sleep, and then I'm gonna go ahead and click one that I feel corresponds to the product. So you can see somebody here in their bed, well rested it looks like, and I think I'm just gonna use this. From there you can play around with the opacity, the height of the banner, different color schemes and such, but I think that looks pretty good to start. So then I'm gonna start building out the text. Simple, benefit-driven text is all you need. Sleep like a baby, our sleep band is designed to help you fall asleep, even in the presence of loud noise and light. So our homepage is already coming together, now you can see it has this next little section where we can go ahead and talk about our brand. Let's give ourselves a little mission statement here. Our mission, our mission is to help you get the rest that you deserve. Now, I don't really like this featured products section here because there's a lot of white space on the right side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove this featured collection that already comes with the theme and I'm gonna go ahead and add section and I'm gonna type in product. Then I'm gonna click on featured product and it's gonna give me this right here. And all I have to do is select product on the right side to the product that we already have. And look how much better and cleaner that is. You have the main product photos on the left side here. You have the name of the product, the price, the buttons for them to go ahead and add it to their cart or purchase it right then and there. And I just think that's pretty much all you need. And I'll show you why when we get into the landing page section, which is where all of our traffic is gonna land on, they're not actually gonna come to our homepage anyway. So I'm just gonna go ahead and save that right there. And now I'm just gonna start building out some extra text that makes sense with the product up here to help boost conversions and show people why they should buy this product. Boom, so that looks pretty good. Fall asleep to sounds of the Amazon rainforest. Having trouble falling asleep? Try playing your favorite nature sounds. So comfortably forget it's even there. Our sleep band is designed with ultra lightweight material with an extra focus on comfort and breathability. So for now, I think that's pretty good for the home page. And now it's time that we focus on the juice, which is actually gonna be the product page. So all I have to do is click exit over here and then go back to products. Click on the product. Here's where we can start customizing this. And I'm gonna change the name to something a lot simpler and cleaner. I'm gonna call this the Sleep Band 2.0. And I just add the 2.0 um, to kind of give the feel that it's the next generation, it's the next iteration on a product as many people who are selling this are probably also calling it the Sleep Band because it seems like a name that just fits with the product. Now, as far as the product page goes, we wanna compile all this information in a way that's appealing to the customer, in a way that will actually drive them to go ahead and make that purchase. You wanna show the customer clear benefits as to why they should buy your product and what they'll gain from it, and you wanna do so in a very clean and minimalistic way. Nobody wants to read hordes of paragraphs or look through hundreds of images just to make the decision on whether or not they should buy your product. A couple clean images and GIFs and a few punchlines that really hit home with the consumer is all you need for copywriting. Perfect, so all I did was add a couple punch lines in between some of the main photos here, and I made it make sense with the photo. So when I was talking about the battery life, I then talked about the battery life. When I was talking about the comfort, I talked about the comfort. When I was talking about using it uh, for working out and for other purposes, I talked about just that as well. 
And the next step is to scroll down over here and make sure that all the product photos are pretty good. For now, this looks pretty good straight off the listing, so I'm happy with this. And if I continue to scroll down, here's where we can choose the price point for each variant. So if I go to edit, I can select the price that I wanna sell this at. And I think for this product, given that we're getting it for about $12, a 3X markup or around there is pretty good. So I'm gonna go in with $39.99 as the price point and I'm gonna set that for both of them. Now, another thing that you can do by clicking edit on each one of the products is you can select a compare app price to run different types of offers and stuff like that. So if I'm selling the product for $40 and I wanna convince the customers to buy it by telling them they're getting a 50% off sale, what I can do here is I can come and I can make the compare app price $79.99. And I'm gonna do that for the same variant, the gray one as well. And bingo. So. There we have the product pages looking pretty good. And now we can go take a look on how it looks on the mobile view to make sure that it's up to par, both for people who are coming on their desktop and for people who are coming onto our website using an iPhone. So to do that, just go back over to online store, make sure that you click save at the top right to save all your progress. I almost forgot to do that. If we go back to the online store and hit customize, we can check out how everything's coming together. All right, so now if we click on catalog and we click on the Sleep Band 2.0 product that we just finished creating, we can see how the web page is going to look. We can see the price, and there you go. There's a the compare app price for $80 that's crossed out. You can see the two different variants of the product. When you click on each one, each different product photo will appear. And if you scroll down, you can see all the different images and the text that we used for the product as well. Now, though I probably could spend a lot more time deciding how I want to lay out the photos and which photos I want to use, I'm already seeing a couple duplicate photos. I won't worry about that too much right now because there's something more important that actually needs our attention on the product page, which is going to be getting reviews or testimonials. That's going to help build a lot of social proof and trust with your customers. And it's going to be the missing piece on what pushes them over the edge in many cases. So if I just hit save and then leave the website editor, I can go back to the main Shopify section where I can then select a new app that's going to allow me to import reviews easily with one click. Now there are tons of good review apps that are completely free. I usually start with A Reviews. It's a pretty solid free review app right here. And all you have to do is click on it and click add app. All right, so it's gonna take you to this page here where you can start a tour on how to use the app. Because I already know, I'm gonna go ahead and click skip and show you guys instead. And now it's gonna take you to this page. Basically, all we have to do is go back to the AliExpress page of the product and then paste it into the top where it says, find your products. Because this product already had tons of reviews on it, that's exactly what we're looking for. So once we get to this page, all we gotta do is click on reviews and click import reviews. And it's gonna take us over to this page right here and it knows exactly the product that we have on the website right now. So if we just go back to AliExpress, copy the link of the product, and again, this one already has tons of reviews, so it's exactly what you're looking for, and then you wanna paste it in here and click import. It's gonna give you some parameters on exactly what you wanna import. I'm gonna say uh, four and five stars and above, and translate all comments to English and then go ahead and click submit. So now if we go back to our product page, we should see the reviews are showing up. Let's go back to customize, catalog, and then click on the product itself. If we scroll at the bottom, we can already see tons of reviews. Now, if we do wanna add more reviews, you might have to get on a paid plan with the reviews. I think it's like $9.99 a month and you can have unlimited reviews and stuff like that. But in the beginning, this is all you need, a solid review section with a few different testimonials and hopefully some good reviews that actually show images of the product like these ones that we have right here. Now, the next step of the store is we need to do a little bit of management with the logo, uh, the menus, just overall make things look a lot more clean and branded. So if we go exit again, and we go over to the navigation section, here's where we can start editing the main menu. So right now we have this home catalog and contact. Because we only have one product on our store that we're selling right now, I don't think a catalog is entirely necessary. So I'm just gonna go ahead and remove that. And instead, I'm gonna add a product page that I'm just gonna call shop now. And it's gonna take us directly to the link to go ahead and purchase that product. So if we just click on the sleep band 2.0 right there and then hit add, it's gonna show up exactly how I intended to. And the last thing that we have here is the contact page, which is pretty solid on this template to begin with. So I'm just gonna leave that as is. Now the other page that I might add right off the bat is a track my order page. 
so customers know exactly when their product's gonna get to them. And that's what I'm gonna do right here. I'm just gonna go track my order. But the first thing that I have to do is create that page. So over here on the pages section, this is where you can add different pages. If I click add page and then I click track my order right here, this is where I can start building up the track my order page. So I'm gonna type something like this. All right, so please allow up to five to 15 business days for your package to arrive. If you're wondering where your package currently is, please use this link and make sure you have your tracking code from your email ready to go. Now the link that I'm talking about is actually 17 track. It's a pretty good website that does all in one package tracking for tons and tons of different logistics and carriers. And it's likely they're gonna be working with the same shipping logistics lines that your supplier is as well. So if that's the case, start with this. Something super simple like this is all that you would need to go ahead and satisfy your customers and show them exactly where their package is in transit. All right, so after saving that, remember if we go back over to navigation and we go back over the main menu, we can now add that in by going here and clicking on pages and then track my order and clicking add. Now that we save that menu, that's all gonna show up pretty well. And if we go over to the footer, we can do the same thing by adding whatever menu items we want. I'm gonna add home and click the home page on the footer. And I'm also gonna add the shop now. And I'm also gonna add the contact and the track my order page. Bingo, so the footer menu is now complete. So now if we go back over, we can see the different pages that we added, like contact and track my order. And if you go down to the bottom in the footer, you can see all the different pages that I added, like so. Next step, I think it's time for color scheme and logo to start cleaning it up and making it look like a brand. So if we go down here to theme settings, and then we click on colors. This is where we can start selecting all the different colors that we want on our store. So let's go back to the home page for this and theme settings here again and let's go to colors and let's start picking some different color schemes. So for solid button label, I'm gonna go ahead and choose some type of a blue, maybe like a teal or something like this and see how that looks. And there you can see the buy it now is now in a teal. And then for the solid button background, I might try something maybe like a deeper blue, maybe like a turquoise-ish, something like that. Let's see how that looks. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. Do you want to change this to make it stand out just a little bit more there we go i think that looks pretty good and then the other accent colors let's match that up with something similar to what we we're using there so this is going to be these little accent colors for these buttons right here and then for text i usually like to just make this one as dark as possible and the same thing with the outline buttons and there we go, I think that looks pretty good. Um, those are the type of buttons and colors that we're gonna be using across the store. Uh, for all the other text, white and black is pretty clean. A uh, conversion right typically does better um, when the store is white as opposed to black. Don't ask me why, it's just something that I've found over the years. But now if we go back to the shop now page, we can see kind of the color scheme for those buttons are now set in order. And as we add different things, they'll pop up in that color as well. Now we need to create a logo. So one website that I use for easy logo creation is Canva. If you have Photoshop skills or something like that, great. I personally don't. So I just like to go over to Canva. It's a free tool, I believe, but there is a paid option where you can add tons of different stuff to your logos and to your designs that you make. So I'm just gonna go ahead and log into my account really quick. All right, so now that we're in Canva here, if we just click on logos and it's gonna give us hundreds of pre-made templates that we can choose from, I'm just gonna click one of the first ones that I see here and I'm gonna edit the template style a little bit to change the colors. I'm gonna choose something similar to the colors that we were already using beforehand. I'm just gonna play with this a little bit and I think that doesn't look too bad. Um, I'm debating even having some of this smaller text down here. You know what, I'm just gonna get rid of it and we're just gonna go with a clean and simple uh, sleep band at the top right there. Now all I have to do is go over to the top here and click share and then click download, click transparent background, download as a PNG and continue. 
And now if I go back over to my store and I go to header and I click change right here, I'll be able to select the image, click upload and choose it from my downloads folder like so. And there you can see at the top, the sleep band logo is there, but it's looking a little bit small. So I'm probably gonna crop it and make sure that it fits the way that I want it to. The first thing that I'm gonna do is open up And there we go, that's how it looks. Now I'm just gonna show you guys on the mobile view, which is arguably more important. So you're gonna see the sleep band at the top right there. You're gonna see the menu item with everything and this is how the product page looks. We got all the reviews at the bottom. And overall, I think this is almost ready for a test. Again, how far you can take web development and making your store look really ranges from beginner entry level to advance where you know you either hire a developer to custom code things and spend tens of thousands of dollars or you spend time focusing on every single nitpicky detail in my opinion i like to start off with it as simple as possible and then as i start making revenue reinvest into constantly improving my website if you guys were interested in a full comprehensive guide on how to do so much more to your store i recommend you check out this video right here but honestly this is all you need to know in the beginning of course you can play around with things a little bit more when you're launching the store for the first time but this is good to go and i'm just going to click save and then exit it. Now, the next thing that we need is another really, really important app. It's pretty much one of my essentials besides Deezer's and A reviews. So we're gonna go back over to the Shopify app store and the app is called Reconvert. And this app right here has generated me over six figures in additional revenue across my brands to date. So I definitely wanna make sure that you guys install this app from day one as well. Now the best part about Reconvert is they only charge you when you make money. So after clicking Let's Go, you just have to approve your credit card or your PayPal so that they can charge you. And again, you won't be billed until you're starting to make money with the app as well. Now that I'm into the app, it's gonna show you how to build a post-purchase funnel. And a post-purchase funnel is basically something that gets presented to the customer in which encourages them to spend more money on your store after they've already purchased. So you don't have to worry about losing the sale or losing the customer because of spamming them with pop-ups and different types of sales tactics. This way you've already made the sale and you're simply offering them more, likely at a discounted rate to squeeze out as much revenue as possible from each client that lands on your store. So here's how to do this. We just click start now and then click publish reconvert. It's gonna automatically publish you an entire funnel that's optimized for conversions that honestly needs little customization and work even for some of the biggest brands in the world. If we go over here and click close, it's gonna take you through the funnel exactly how it happens. So after the order is completed, a trigger to then offer them an upsell comes in and you can add as many upsells as you want on multiple thank you pages after they continue ordering from you. But let me show you how these upsells work. If we click into the first upsell and click edit here, Basically, this is what it's gonna show them on the thank you page. So if you're at all familiar with shopping online, you probably get a page like this sent to your email or directly after when you purchase a product, it's gonna say, congratulations, you've paid for your order or something like this, but then you can hit them with another offer. So you can say, hey, thanks for shopping or whatever. It's not too late to grab more. Here's another for 15% off and then you're offering them another product. And this is where it gets interesting because you can add tons of different upsell products onto your store in the particular niche, or you can simply offer them the same product at a discounted rate. Maybe if they wanna buy the same product for friends or family as well, well now they can do it at a special discount just for them. And of course you can play around with all the different options here and you can optimize this to look exactly how you want. But I just wanted to show you guys that relatively quickly because it is something that I use across all my brands and not having a post-purchase upsell flow in place means that you're simply missing out on extra revenue that you could be collecting. So that's Reconvert and it's one of my essential apps. And besides that, I think we've pretty much gone over everything that's pretty essential for the online store creation and starting your first dropshipping store. So now that you have your first dropshipping store set up, take a break, crack a beer, sit down and celebrate. You've already made it farther than 99% of people who say that they're gonna hop into online business. And now the fun part's ahead of you. So get a good night's rest and gear up for learning all about advertising, paid traffic, and how you're gonna start driving traffic towards your store and making sales. 
Again, this video is simply too short for me to cover every single little detail in terms of the store creation and setup, but I showed you guys pretty much everything that you need to do to get started on day one of building your own dropshipping store from scratch. If you do want a full comprehensive guide, I put one out completely free, and this includes methods of paid traffic, this includes paid ads, organic ads, and ways to start converting those customers into sales and granting yourself an extra source of income and eventually, hopefully, financial freedom. I'll link that video somewhere up here for you guys. It really is a game changer and it's helping so many people and I hope this one does too. Also, congratulations to Truth of God Clips for winning the custom built dropshipping store giveaway from my last week's video. Just go ahead and shoot me a DM on Instagram. We'll get right in the works of setting up your store. Same rules apply for this video, guys. All you have to do is give me a huge thumbs up, comment something insightful, and subscribe to the channel for your chance to win a custom built dropshipping store built by me and my team, in which I'll be announcing in my next week's video. But with that, thank you guys so, so much for all the support lately. It's been absolutely amazing. And I wanna keep dropping bangers like this and helping as many people take their first few steps and eventually scale up a profitable dropshipping business online. If you like this video or found it informative, please don't hesitate to share it to a friend or family member as I know that this video isn't the most comprehensive and detail-oriented video in the world, but it can get you started and that's what's the most important taking those first few steps. Thank you guys so much. Can't wait to hear all your success stories. Get connected on Instagram with me and I'll see you guys in my next week's video. Peace. Good luck. <laughs>